So there's, there are laser, laser links between the satellites, so it forms sort of a, a laser mesh, so that the, if, if let's say, uh, fi let's say if, if cables are damaged or cut, like fiber cables, the satellites can communicate between each other um, and provide connectivity, uh, even if uh, there's, there's a, uh, the cables are cut. So for example, when the Red Sea cables w were cut, uh, I think a few months ago, mm -hmm. The satellite, the, the Starlink satellite network, continued to function without a hitch. Mm -hmm. So it's it's particularly helpful for disaster areas. So, if, but if an area has been hit with uh, some kind of natural disaster, floods or fires or uh, earthquakes, that that tends to damage the the ground infrastructure. Uh, but the Starlink satellites still work. So um, and generally, when, whenever there's some sort of natural disaster somewhere, we we always provide people with free Starlink. Uh, internet connectivity. You know, we don't want to charge, we don't take advantage of a, a tragic situation. So, um, so you know, if, if there's natural disasters, we're like, okay, <laughs> it's, free, it's free during the natural disaster, you know, we don't, we don't want to say like, um, you know, put a paywall up while somebody's trying to get help. <laughs> that would be wrong. 